The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. I now hand over to the prosecution to continue his line of questioning. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Um, where we left off, uh, you had uh, just made reference juste avant la pause, uh, to the fact that you had traveled part of the way to Phnom Penh by boat. Vous avez fait une partie um, du can you uh, tell us um, where, uh, what part of the trip you traveled by boat, from where to where? Quel tronçon du trajet a été effectué par bateau? Response: I took the boat uh, from Krati province pris le all de the la way de down to Phnom Penh. Jusqu'à Phnom Penh. So, do I understand correctly that you drove? Question from Mandalkiri to Krachi and then took the boat from Krachi par, um, to Phnom Penh. Voiture de Is that correct? À Kratier, et puis de vous êtes allé en vous avez fait le trajet en bateau de Krachi à Phnom Penh. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris? Response. That is correct. Réponse. C'est exact. I drove from Mundulkiri province uh, to Krati province Ratnakiri rather to uh, Krati province and from Krati I Kratier, took the boat to uh, Phnom Penh en voiture et ensuite de Krati à Phnom Penh j'ai fait effectuer le trajet par bateau Thank you um, when you arrived in Phnom Penh for this meeting, uh, can you tell us how long you were in Phnom Penh before you returned uh, left to go back to Mandalkiri? Thank you. Um, the question is whether you were there from Phnom Penh to Krati from Mandalkiri I stayed here for, I, I, uh, I attended the session for three days and then I stayed another jours. night after the meeting before I returned to Mandalkiri. Where did you stay in Phnom Penh uh, when you were here for that meeting? Vous y êtes venu pour participer à cette réunion? Response: I stayed in a place Réponse. on the riverfront. Dans un endroit près de la rivière. Can you be more specific? Réponse: Est-ce uh, que vous pouvez nous donner plus on de the riverfront? détails? This place was, for example, where in relation to the royal palace. Vous pouvez utiliser comme point de repère le palais royal. Response. It was uh, right on the. A river bank where the river crossed. Sur, uh, la berge de la rivière. And before we start to talk about the meeting, let me ask you one Le more question. When you traveled back to Mandalkiri, did you travel back the same way? That is, by boat to Krachi and then by car from Krachi to Mandalkiri. Response. Yes, I, I went oui. back by the same means. I took the boat from Phnom Penh back, back to uh, Krachi and from Krachi I uh, took the car. Et puis à partir de Kratier, j'ai pris la, voici, la voiture. And on either trip, 
either when you came to yes, Phnom Penh or when you returned to Mandalkiri, did you see uh, people Lors in the country moving around at that time? Have you seen people in the campaign moving? But responds, no, I didn't see them. No, je n'ai pas vu cela. When you traveled on the roads, were those roads empty? Que vous avez effectué sur la route, est-ce que les routes étaient vides? But response. Réponse. Well, from. Krachi province to Mandalkiri province were basically in the jungle uh, and there were no jungle. people on the streets, on the road. There was no person who circulated on the road. Okay, la route. Thank, thank you for clarifying that. Um, let me now go back uh, to some questions about the meeting in Phnom Penh. Um, I had read to you um, already Je vous avais déjà uh, the statement you gave un in which you said uh, that the meeting took fait, place, quote, about four, ten days after the 17 April 1975. Et, and I, I wanted to ask you what you meant by four, ten days. Uh, did you mean that this meeting was approximately 40 days after the 17th of April? La réunion a eu lieu 40 jours après le 17 avril. Que est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner des éclaircissements sur votre déclaration? Ma Response. It was about f 10 days. Because I said it was about 10 days or so, because I was not quite sure it could have been 10 days or 12 days or so, it was around 10 days. How many people in total were uh, in attendance at this meeting? Combien de personnes ont participé à cette réunion? Response. I do not know the exact numbers, but there were a huge uh, number of people from all across the country. Were there representatives there from every region uh, of the country? Do I understand you correctly? Response. Réponse. Yes, all, all people representative from the sectors oui, were uh, present at présents that présents meeting. But as for representative réunion. from the zones, I, I did not know because I didn't know them. Zones, je ne sais pas si là car je ne les connaissais pas. Do you know whether there were representatives uh, from the military organizations uh, who were in attendance at this meeting? Response, yes. Réponse, oui. There were military representatives representing the divisions, des représentants des divisions and also those from the sector. Ainsi que les représentants des secteurs. Now, can you tell us um, who the speakers were at this meeting? Qui étaient les personnes qui avaient pris la parole lors de cette réunion? But I saw Pol Pot, who was the presenter at the time. Pot a été la personne qui faisait les présentations. Who, in Question. addition to Pol Pot, Et made presentations at this meeting? Lors de cette réunion. Response. I did not see other presenters, and we saw 
Just d'autres him. personnes. Je n'ai vu que Pol Pot. Mr. President, uh, I would like Monsieur again to uh, uh, read, uh, 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 read un extrait uh, to the witness and present on the screen um, an excerpt Les from the same interview, E3 slash 367. And this excerpt comes from Khmer ERN 00251437. English ERN 278-694 and Khmer ERN 00251-4-3-7. Le Président. President, yes, you may proceed, but you are reminded that this document oui. And the e, uh, and number on that particular page, page has been questioned already. Ont déjà été au Please do not repeat the Veuillez same si question, otherwise you will not be allowed to ask repetitive questions to this question witness. Déjà été posée, you may pouvez poser les questions répétitives. Thank you, Mr. President. Le procureur. Merci, Mr. Um, Mr. The statement uh, in this interview, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, in the, the discussion of this meeting, uh, you said the following, quote, in that meeting, the presenters at the opening sessions were Noon Chea and Pol Pot. Is it correct that both Noon Chea and Pol Pot made presentations at this meeting? Matt. Response. Yes, oui, that is correct. Now you've said that you were present uh, for three days. Uh, can you tell us how long the meeting lasted each of those days? Pouvez-vous nous dire combien de temps durait la réunion chaque jour? Matt, Response. Long, uh, Response. It started from 7 a.m. after the breakfast. C'était de 7 heures du matin. Tout de suite après le petit déjeuner. It stopped for a lunch break on at 11. On faisait une pause pour le déjeuner à 11 heures. Uh, did the meeting Question. resume in the afternoon? Il and if so, can you tell us? Uh, how late it went until location. Response. Response. The afternoon session effet, started from 2 p.m. and it lasted at 5 p.m. And was it Pol Pot and Noon Chea uh, who made presentations uh, the entire day, Pol Pot et uh, each day of that conference, or were there other presenters jour, in addition to them? D'autres personnes qui ont fait des présentations en plus de ces deux personnes. Ate. Response. Ate. No. Réponse. Non. What did you understand the purpose of this meeting to be, Question. Uh, Mr. Witness? Quel était, selon vous, l'objectif de cette réunion? Réponse. I did not clearly understand Je n'avais pas of bien the compris l'objectif de la réunion. What I understood was that J'ai compris we liberated the country and we have to lead the people to do rice farming for them to get rid of famine or starvation and that their daily living condition improves and that they have a sufficient housing to stay in. Well, when you were asked uh, by Lang to go to Phnom Penh Quand for this meeting, Leng uh, were you told uh, why you were going to Phnom Penh? Vous dit pourquoi vous alliez à Phnom Penh? Uh, 
Matt. Let's try to Repose. After the liberation of 17 April 1975, Après la le 17 avril 1975 I was asked to attend the meeting to understand the situation the situation after the liberation. Politique post -liberation. Can you Question. describe for the chamber uh, the subject uh, that were discussed by Pol Pot and Noon Chea uh, uh, during the three days that you were present at this conference? Ou pendant les trois jours où vous avez participé à cette réunion. Respond. Réponse. I could not fully grasp whatever I understood. I already said it. Je ne comprenais pas tout. Ce que j'ai compris, je l'ai déjà dit. I understand, Mr. Witness, you've previously testified about that. Je but before sais, I Monsieur le témoin, vous avez déjà déposé uh, uh, reference your statement again, I'd like que you, je fasse référence uh, to the best of your recollection, que vous to tell the judges un de mémoire, uh, what were the general subjects that were discussed by Pol Pot and Nunchea during this three-day conference. Pol Pot pendant cette réunion de trois jours. Matt, yes, I understood clearly. It was about the building of the country. Si j'avais bien compris, d'édifier. He repeatedly focused on this point. Construire le pays, on a répété cela souvent. Mr. President, I'd like to read a another excerpt uh, from the same document. E3 uh, slash 367, uh, same ERN pages as before, but this is a different uh, a different excerpt from uh, from that document. Toujours de la même page. Le président. President, yes, you oui. may proceed. Allez-y. Mr. Witness, um, le procureur. Uh, Monsieur le témoin. In your statement Dans to the investigating judges uh, talking about this meeting, uh, you made uh, the following Sur le sujet statement. De cette réunion, vous avez dit Quote, both of them talked about political matters. Ils ont parlé cooperative de organization, organization, currency prohibition, de market and de monastery devise, closing, la des and des stated marchés, that they would be reopened ils ont dit in the future. Ils plus tard. Is that a correct statement of subject matters that were discussed là, by Pol Pot and Noon Chea uh, during this three-day conference? Un bon résumé des sujets abordés par Pol Pot et Noon Chea au cours des trois jours de cette réunion? Response. Yes, oui. that is correct. C'est exact. Yes, they talk about the closing oui, of the market. De la fermeture des marchés. And that in the future the markets would be reopened. On, on rouvrirait les marchés. That what par was la suite. spoken of by them. Ils en ont parlé. Did they also uh, talk at this meeting about getting rid of all the réunion, Vietnamese people aussi from Cambodia, about having them moved out of the country? Débarrasser des Vietnamiens au pays et qu'il fallait les expulser du pays. Ça fait que maintenant le président. President, Mr. Vietnam, please do not yet respond to the question. Awaiting the decision by the chairman regarding the audition of the BB rest by the Defense Council. Defense Council, you may proceed. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors. Good morning to everyone in and around the courtroom. I realize the gentleman has some challenges in, in his memory, but I think that asking leading questions are improper, and this is clearly a leading question. Now, if there's something in the statement, that he wishes to direct a witness, that's fine. In my opinion, si, since the gentleman après, does not avis, recall a whole lot today, but gave a statement already, and has already indicated that when he gave the statement, he was truthful and accurate and complete. I, I believe, given that answer, we could save a lot of time if the gentleman was to go strictly, straight to the, uh, to the, the statement. 
If it is not a mistake, and I do si object toutefois, pas strongly du tout to the witness being led in this fashion, verbal, thank you. Je suis tout à fait contre ce type d'approche suggestive. Mr. President, um, I would not uh, ask a question like this if it was not in the statement. Si um, uh, I'm at your um, uh, disposal here, of course, chambre, um, but the procedure I've been following is Mais to ask the question first, que suivi, give the witness an answer, premier, chance to answer, and then go uh, to the witness statement ensuite, after that. Um, that is the reason that rather than immediately quoting to him his statement on Et this issue, uh, I gave him a chance. I wanted to give him a chance de citer son to answer verbal, first. Je voulais donner au that's the de procedure that we've been trying Et to follow. So that, uh, that's my response to the uh, counsel's objection. Voilà ma réponse, donc, à l'objection de la défense. President, having heard the objection and the response, the majority of the the objection is not sustained. However, the prosecution is reminded that if the content of the question that he responded to have already been acknowledged by him, the prosecution should not raise that same question again in the same written record of interview. If you have other complementary questions, then you may proceed. You may proceed again, but it's better for you to repeat this, the last question so that the witness can recall Il and respond accordingly. Bon de répéter la question, la votre dernière question pour que le témoin puisse répondre. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the question, uh, my question, Mr. Witness, is: uh, Do you Merci, remember uh, whether question, Pol Pot and suivant. Noon Chea uh, uh, at this three-day conference uh, talked jours. about? Uh, getting rid of all the Vietnamese, de uh, having de them evacuated Vietnamese from the country. De les expulser du pays. Le président. 
Le Président, Mr. Vinet, please respond to the question. À la question. The Defense Council, this matter has already been ruled by the Chamber, so you are not allowed to make your objection again. If you were to make your objection, you should make it before the Chamber's ruling on the same matter. Sur cette question. And after the ruling by the Chamber, you cannot raise the Chambre objection décision, to that matter again. Mr. President, I say Mr. Le Witness, please respond to the Monsieur questions of the Defense Council. You have to wait. Now it is term, time for the witness to respond. The matter or the objection has been raised by Council Michael Canavas Maître already, Canavas and you should have done your objection vous at that time. Votre objection à ce now, please be seated. Vous but can respond. As I stated earlier, comme je l'ai dit tout à l'heure, ou plutôt. And as I already reported to the judges, l'interprète se reprend. Comme je l'ai déjà dit, I don't know what I should say because I said everything to the judges. Why I am now again asked the same questions? Au cours des instructions, pourquoi on me pose ces mêmes questions à nouveau? Please uh, refer to my statement that I made before the court investigating judges. Les déclarations que j'ai faites au cours des instructions. Before I do that, uh, Mr. Witness, um, we need to ask you these questions in court first. Um, so I would like you to tell the judges uh, whether you remember the subject of the Vietnamese being discussed by Pol Pot or Nguyen at this meeting. Do you remember that? But response. Réponse. No, I did not hear them talking non. about the Vietnamese matter. Je ne les ai pas entendus parler des Vietnamese. That was the affair of the upper echelon. Ça, c'était les affaires de l'échelon supérieur. Mr. President, at this time, I would like to read an excerpt from uh, a different interview of this witness, uh, which is E3 slash 384. At ERN Khmer 00345906, English ERN 00348375, and French ERN 00354239. If I may ask, 42, submit that 39. to the witness uh, and present it on the screen. Si je pouvais montrer ce document témoin et l'afficher à l'écran. The president, the president, yes, you may proceed. Oui, je vous en prie. Court officer, oui, please audience. deliver the document from the prosecution for the witness. Let's see whether the witness can read it as he has full eyesight and he even claimed that he cannot even see the red light on the microphone. I'm sorry, Mr. President, I may have misspoken in the translation. I meant simply to read, as we've been doing, read uh, the document to the witness, not actually give him a hard copy. Uh, if that got translated, if I misspoke, uh, my intention is to do what we've been doing, which is just read it to this witness. Uh, unless you would like us to submit a hard copy to see if you can read. The President, you may do so, the prosecutor. You can post your question to the witness. Uh, 
thank you, uh, Mr. President. Le procureur, um, merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, in your interviews uh, with the investigating judges, Dans you were asked the following question. Votre entretien quote, avec le bureau de couches d'instruction, on vous a demandé uh, uh, question, question suivante. Did question. they talk about driving all of the wand from Cambodia? Du Cambodge. Answer. Réponse. That was said, Cela and the speaker évoqué. was Pol Pot. Et Pol Pot qui en a parlé. Later on, I heard tard, my lower-level cadres say, say that trucks transported the Vietnamese que des from the provinces les of Kampong Cham and Krachi, 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 Krachi back to their country. Leur pays. Can you confirm uh, that this is a truthful statement, Mr. Witness? Pouvez-vous nous confirmer que il s'agit que votre déclaration est exacte? The president. Le président. Witness, please hold Monsieur on. Le témoin, veuillez attendre. Defense counsel for Noon Chir, you may proceed. La parole la défense de Noon Chir. Mr. President, pas. thank you. This is Merci, exactly the point that I wanted to make a comment about earlier. Um, there's nothing in this interview that indicates that this statement Rien has had been made during that particular meeting in 1975 uh, in Phnom Penh. Déclaration so that's why I wanted to um, que cela avait été évoqué lors de la réunion en Phnom Penh de trois jours. Et c'est pourquoi je l'ai soumis aux objections plus tôt quand on a posé la question tout à l'heure. Quand on le fait uh, en lien avec cette réunion en Phnom Penh, c'est une question suggestive. Uh, my colleague, um, a valid one. Et ce I could qui not make that objection valable. earlier because uh, uh, I was Carnavas only responding to what the prosecutor was responding to the objection. Uh, Mr. Carnavas, so if you had allowed me to make this objection si earlier, we might not have had this problem. But I again uh, think that Donc, it should, plus, should be clear that nothing in this particular document E3. E3 bar 384 indicates that we're talking about the meeting in Phnom Penh. That was the base of my uh, earlier objection that I tried to make. Objection tout à if I may res respond, Mr. President, that, that is incorrect. Um, I did not read the prior question because it involves a different subject that I want to ask him about later. Um, but in the immediate question prior to this, uh, the witnesses refer uh, to his prior testimony uh, with a specific ERN page in Khmer uh, 00251437, uh, which is where the discussion of this meeting took place. So it is counsel's incorrect uh, that the record uh, does not show that this was a discussion about that same meeting. President, the objection rests by the International Defense Council for Nunchi is not sustained. The Chamber needs to hear the response by the witness to the last questions by the prosecution. Mr. Witness, please respond to the question if you still can recall the last question that was put to you. I cannot recollect all the statements that I have made. De toutes mes déclarations. President, Le Président. the prosecutor, could you repeat your Monsieur last question? Maybe he cannot recall it. Possible que le témoin l'ait oublié. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Um, the testimony that you provided uh, to the investigating judges that I'd like to ask you about is as follows. Vous avez dit la chose suivante uh, question. Au uh, did they question. talk about driving all of the one de chasser from Cambodia? Les du Cambodge? And the answer that you gave Et to the investigating judges was, quote, était, that suivante. was said Cela and the speaker was Pol Pot. Celui qui en a parlé était Pol Pot. Later on, I heard my lower tard, level cadres say that trucks transported the Vietnamese from the provinces les of Kampong Cham and Krachi back to their country. Vers leur pays. Was the statement, this statement that you provided to the investigating judges truthful? Avez-vous dit la vérité witness? au juge d'instruction, monsieur le témoin? Bad. 
Yes, I did say that. That's what I Réponse. heard. Oui, c'est ce que j'ai dit et c'est ce que j'avais entendu à l'époque. That the Vietnamese j'ai entendu que were sent back les Vietnamiens avaient été renvoyés dans leur pays. And who who was it that uh, described to you um, the Vietnamese being transported Question. by trucks? Et qui vous a dit que les Vietnamiens étaient transportés um, par camp camion depuis Camp Bang Chau Chi? Who, who was it that told you about that? Qui vous l'a dit? Réponse. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I heard people talking about that. It could be those who transported the material to Phnom Penh, and those people said that the Vietnamese were loaded into trucks and they were sent back to their country. Les Vietnamiens avaient été mis dans des camions et renvoyés dans leur pays. Can, can you tell us whether any of the Vietnamese Question. who were transported back to their country by si truck, whether they were transported through Mondulkiri? Pouvez-vous nous dire s'ils sont passés par le Mondulkiri? But I couldn't. No, I did not see any. Réponse. No. Thank you, Mr. Witness. We'll, we'll come back and talk about uh, the issue of the Vietnamese a little more uh, later. Uh, I'd now like to go back um, to the question about the general subjects uh, that were discussed at the three-day meeting with Pol Pot and Nguyen Jaya in Phnom Penh. Uh, um, you've mentioned we've uh, identified a number of subjects nous already. Um, de sujets. I'm going to ask you some specific questions about each of those subjects. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I have a few other general questions. Avant de se faire, des questions de uh, do you remember whether Pol Pot si or Noon Chea talked about uh, enemies of the party des at this three-day meeting? lors de cette réunion de trois jours. Non, je n'ai pas entendu cela. Do you recall, uh, was there any discussion Question. about plans uh, to build si uh, irrigation dams on a and canals de la construction throughout the country? De was that a subject that was discussed? De Souvenez-vous si c'était un des sujets. Response. Réponse. Yes, I heard oui. about that. J'ai en, entendu parler des the irrigation systems, the canal had, système d'irrigation des canaux, il fallait construire des canaux so dans les provinces, ce qui réglerait le problème de l'irrigation pour l'agriculture. Il fallait résoudre le problème de l'irrigation pour l'agriculture afin d'améliorer les conditions de vie du peuple. Do you remember who it was that talked about uh, the subject of uh, building dams and canals? Vous avez parlé de creuser des canaux et de construire des barrages. Response. Réponse. It was oui. Pol Pot. C'était Pol Pot. Who focused about the building of canals and dams. De, de canaux et des barrages. And when you returned uh, to Mondulkiri uh, after this meeting in Phnom Penh, Quand vous êtes uh, uh, did the Mondulkiri sector um, engage uh, or begin the construction of dams and canals uh, in your sector? À creuser des canaux et à construire des barrages? Response. Réponse. Yes, there was fait, construction oui. of them building on a and canal à construire des canaux et à creuser, for creuser des canaux farming. et construire des barrages pour des fins de l'agriculture. Dry rice farming and for rainy season rice farming. C'était pour la culture en saison sèche et en saison 
so that we would have uh, sufficient water to resolve the livelihood issues of the people. Qui permettrait de régler les problèmes de conditions de vie du peuple. Who was responsible for making the plans as to uh, which dams and canals would be built uh, and how long it would take uh, to build them? Who, who was responsible for making those plans? Qui avait la responsabilité de cette planification du système d'irrigation? Matt, I think you Response. Know. Réponse. It was the plan by the sector. The sector would map out the arable land areas in the district, and then they would propose a plan in order to uh, build irrigation dams or canals or others. And when you say that the, the sector would propose a plan, uh, who would that plan be proposed to? Who proposed this plan that had been elaborated? Response. Response. They propose a plan, and in preparing such proposal, they would convene the members uh, from plan, the commune committee and the district committee. So it was not the uh, sole decision of anyone. So it was a collective uh, decision for the uh, development plan in the sector. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, was there any discussion uh, at the three-day meeting with Pol Pot and Nunchea uh, about the division of population into different groups, uh, such as full rights citizens, candidate citizens, and depositees? Do you recall any discussion of that subject? Que ces questions ont été évoquées lors de la réunion. Matt. Response. In Mandolkiri province, there was no division of population. Il n'y avait pas de division. And there was no full right uh, people or depository or so, but there were only citizens Il avait que des in, in the province. Dans la province. I'd now like to uh, ask you a little more uh, detail uh, about some of the subject matters uh, that you mentioned were discussed uh, at this three-day meeting. Uh, and the first one is um, the issue of the closing of monasteries or pagodas. Uh, can you tell the chamber in more detail uh, what it was that Nunchea or Pol Pot said about the closing of pagodas at this three-day conference. Response. I am not sure about this matter, and I only heard uh, that uh, they would close uh, this and that, but uh, it was the decision of people at the upper level. Response. Were the cadres uh, who were present at this meeting instructed that they were to close uh, any pagodas in the region. Response. No, I never heard of that. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about uh, the religions uh, that were commonly practiced in Mandalpiri region uh, prior uh, to the Khmer Rouge 
taken control on the 17th of April, 1975. What, what religions were practiced in Mandulkiri? Matt. Response. The ethnic minorities in Mandulkiri province believed in their respective um, traditional uh, belief. Some of them believe in Buddhism as well, but others believe and in spirits. And it was very important for the ethnic minorities uh, to uh, perform certain uh, ritual, tribal ritual, and they believe in the uh, ancestor spirit. Were the ethnic minorities in Mandelkuri uh, allowed to continue practicing their religion and doing these traditional rituals during the period of democratic Kampuchea? Matt. Response. There was no prohibition. Uh, those ethnic minorities could uh, perform their religious uh, belief, but uh, they must not uh, organize uh, bigger events or so. And of course, at that time, uh, people were told not to be wasteful because uh, they had to uh, put more effort uh, on doing farming rather than performing certain religious beliefs. Can, can you uh, tell us approximately what percentage of the population in Mandalkiri were Buddhists and what percentage were animists who believed in the traditional spirits that you described? Matt. The response. The tribal people as a customary Réponse. practice, considered animism as their primary uh, belief. Uh, after the harvest season, they would, for example, uh, sacrifice uh, animals or so uh, in order to uh, offer to the spirits. And, but some of them also believed in Buddhism. In Mundulgiri province, uh, before there were no uh, pagodas at all, it was a very remote and mountainous uh, province, so we did not have uh, pagodas. But then when Mundulgiri province administration was established, uh, then there were some pagodas uh, for people to uh, to to, fo to follow. Yeah, thank you. And could you tell us when, when it, uh, what year it was um, that the uh, uh, province was established and that pagodas were first uh, um, built in Mandalkiri? When, when was it that there were first that there were pagodas in Mandalkiri, Mr. Witness? Monsieur le témoin. Veuillez nous indiquer quand est-ce que les pagodes ont été construites pour la première fois dans le monde d'Ulkiri. Matt. Réponse. Réponse. They established Mundulkiri province uh, in 1963. And when that province uh, was established, uh, then pagodas were also uh, built. And the first one was in Chimit uh, district. And by the time of April 1975, 
Uh, were there pagodas throughout Mandalkiri province? Est-ce qu'il y avait des, pro des pagodes dans toute la province de Mandalkiri? Response. Réponse. Before 1975. Avant 1975. Well, 19, in 1963, uh, there was a pagoda, Mandalkiri uh, pagoda, and in, uh, there was also a pagoda in uh, Jimit uh, commune in uh, 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 the district as well. Actually, there were only three pagodas uh, in 1963. Uh, do you mean that there were only three uh, pagodas uh, in 1975? Uh, did I understand you correctly? Response. There were only three pagodas. And uh, after the 17th of April, 1975, were people in Mandalkiri allowed to practice Buddhism at those three pagodas? Response. No, they were not allowed to non. practice it because from April 1925 in Mandalkiri province, uh, province uh, pagoda de Mandalkiri were closed les pagodes ont été fermées. and even the Mandalkiri province itself uh, were province heavily bombarded and houses uh, and pagoda were bombardé. all destroyed by aerial bombardment. Even the pagoda I used to know in Chimit uh, commune was also commune destroyed by uh, aerial bombing. Par les bombardements aériens. Who made the decision um, that the Pagodas in Mandalkiri province would be closed and that people could not practice Buddhism there after the 17th of April 1975. Response. There was no particular person who decided the closure of décidé de la pagodas, des pagodes. but in Mandalkiri province Mais back the then there was the uh, aerial bombardment Il by the Americans, uh, so pagoda was destroyed. And in 1975, uh, there were no people living in that province, either because the house were the houses were province. destroyed. Soit parce que les maisons avaient été détruites, parce que leurs maisons avaient été détruites. A few minutes ago, you mentioned um, a, a traditional practice of animus uh, that they would sacrifice animals as offerings to the spirits after harvest. Can you tell me whether the people, uh, the ethnic tribes in Mandalkiri were allowed to do that practice uh, after the 17th of April? 1975. Response. Response. Uh, they were, of course, allowed uh, to do it, but uh, it was reduced in terms Mais of the uh, the scale of the um, function because uh, people were told to be economical since uh, it was in time of difficulty. So they had to save, for example, if they had to sacrifice more 
buffaloes or oxes or so, they would reduce the numbers of buffaloes to be sacrificed. Le nombre de bétail qu'ils auraient sacrifié en d'autres temps. Who was it that told the people that they should be economical? Qui disait aux gens qu'il fallait faire, qu'il fallait être économe? Man. Response. The leaders, the leaders in the chefs, districts or communes, they de district, told the people to be economical. Uh, it does not mean that they told them not to do it at all, but to reduce the number of buffalo or oxes uh, to be sacrificed. And they had to be economical in order to ensure that they have uh, sufficient staff to eat. Pour veiller à ce qu'ils aient assez pour manger. Were there monks uh, who lived in Mandulkiri province uh, as of April 1975? Response. No, there were no monks. As I said earlier on, that uh, there was carpet bombardment in the area, so both monks and citizens would uh, flee uh, the, their community houses, whether they be wooden houses or brick houses were all destroyed. When was it that uh, the monks had fled Mandulkiri province? Bad. Response. Uh, immediately when the country was uh, liberated, and there were bombardments, so people and monks alike fled their community. And the aerial bombardment was so heavy that people could not remain in their village. What year are you talking about, Mr. Witness? Le procureur. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous indiquer l'année à laquelle l'année pendant laquelle ces événements ont eu lieu? Bad. Response. Réponse. No, the liberation of Mandulkiri was uh, from 1970, and from 1970 onwards, uh, there were bombardments. So a, almost every day, uh, two uh, aircraft uh, would uh, hang over the the uh, province, and they would drop bombs on the community. So uh, all the people had to flee uh, their home village. village. Just, so, just so we're clear, uh, my understanding is you're telling us that the monks uh, began to flee Mandelkiri in the 1970s when bombings began. Is that correct? But response. Yes, that is correct. As I said earlier. And is it your testimony, Mr. Witness, that by the 17th of April 1975, there were no monks uh, in province? de Mandulkiri province? Response. Yes, that is correct. There were no monks. Because all had to flee at that time, and pagodas were destroyed. The uh, pagoda in Chimit was uh, completely destroyed, and all monks had to flee for their life. Did anyone in Mandalkiri province um, try to build 
new pagodas que dans la province uh, during the democratic Kampuchea regime. A-t-il essayé de construire de nouvelles pagodes pendant le sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique? But at response, no, they didn't. Réponse, non, ils ne l'ont pas fait. Why not? Question, et pourquoi pas? The president, witness, please hold on. There is an objection by the defense counsel for Mr. Yang Sari. Le conseil de la défense de Maître Yang Sari, de Yang Sari, demande la parole. Counsel, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. First and foremost, I don't see anything in the closing order concerning the inability or the refusal to allow the building of pagodas, that's number one. Number two, we're asking this witness to speculate. How would he possibly know? Unless there's a series of questions that would lay a foundation that he would be in a position to know if any decisions were made and so on and so forth. Fine, but the way the, way the question is posed, it's leading. He's asking the witness to speculate. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this question cannot be leading. I asked the question. The witness testified that no pagodas were built, and I asked him why. Uh, the question why cannot be uh, considered a legal, uh, I'm sorry, a leading question. Mr. President, The President, objection by the International Defense Council for Mr. Ying Sari is not sustained. The witness is now directed to respond to the question posed by the prosecution, and you should respond to the question if you can still recall the last question posed. I actually have uh, given my answer to such question, and if you still have that statement, uh, you should read it out uh, for me, then I will uh, confirm or deconfirm the statement. The President intervenes. Le président prend la parole. Mr. Witness, Monsieur le the statement you made during the interview with the investigator of the Office of Investigating Judges was, uh, was a separate uh, matter, and now uh, you are being uh, heard in public. So you should respond to the question, and your testimony will be the basis for the uh, decision of the chamber. So you uh, advise to respond to the question by uh, all parties. If you rely on the uh, statement you made before the Office of Co-Investigating Judges, then uh, there would be no need to si ask you to appear before us again. Again, you are advised to respond to the question only when the question is deemed inappropriate, then the chamber will not si allow that question uh, to be asked. But other than that, you are advised to respond to all questions put by the parties or members of the bench. Secondly, I am Deuxième of the opinion that you might have forgotten the question posed by the prosecution, so I would uh, now suggest that the prosecution repeat the last question so that the witness can respond to it. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, you have, uh, told us that the pagodas in Mondelkuri were destroyed 
during the war. Que les ont été détruites pendant um, la guerre. I've asked you and you said that there were no uh, pagodas rebuilt et vous nous during dit the period of democratic Kampuchea. And my question now is why? Why was there no effort made to build any pagodas uh, during the period of democratic Kampuchea? Pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique. The response that I did not know because it was under the um, responsibility of people Car at the sector level. It was the decision whether or not uh, any pagoda or public uh, infrastructure uh, was to be built. No. Mr. Witness, uh, you worked. Did you work at the sector level uh, during part of the democratic Kampuchea regime? Response: Yes, I was a member of the uh, sector committee. And can you tell us whether there was ever any discussion by the sector committee about rebuilding pagodas in Mondulkiri region? Sur la reconstruction des pagodes dans la région de Mondulkiri. Response. No, there was no discussion or decision from the sector level about that, and there was no specific plan sujet. proposed either. Pas eu de plan non plus. Based on the meeting uh, that you had attended, the three-day meeting you attended, la base de la de jours uh, jours à laquelle, uh, at which Pol Pot and Nguyen Che had spoken, and did you have any understanding as to whether uh, Mondelkiri sector would have been allowed to rebuild pagodas si uh, during the democratic Kampuchea period. Is that something you would have been allowed to do? Response. That I do not understand because if the decision had to be made, si it would be up to people prise, at the higher level. Mr. President, I was about to turn Monsieur now to a different uh, subject. Uh, um, sujet I can continue uh, si proceed souhaitez, to a new subject uh, if you wish. Uh, I see that it's, Mais je vois my eyes are wrong, that it's, uh, that it's noon. So il est midi. if you wish, I will break here, otherwise Donc, si I'm going to start, start a new subject at this ici, time. Alors, je peux commencer une nouvelle ligne de question. The President. Thank you. Since uh, the prosecution is about to turn to a new topic and the time is now appropriate for lunch adjournment, the chamber will adjourn for lunch from now until 1.30 this afternoon. And before the adjournment, the chamber wishes to ask the witness Mr. Sarun. Demander au témoin Monsieur Sarun. Do you think that uh, you are fit que enough que uh, to uh, testify uh, before us uh, this afternoon? If you can do, 
uh, then uh, you, we will be able to finish it early so that you can go back home early as well. But it is up to you to uh, decide whether or not you is fit to do so. Response. Mr. President, thank you. Uh, my health is uh, good enough. I can do it uh, this afternoon. The President, court officer is now instructed to uh, facilitate uh, the place for the fitness and his duty council to rest during lunch uh, break and have them back uh, to this courtroom by 1.30 this afternoon. I note the defense council is on his feet. You may proceed. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, my client, uh, Mr. Nunchi, I would like to follow the proceedings this afternoon from the holding cell and we have prepared the waiver as usual. The President, having noted the request by Mr. Nguyen Chia through his counsel uh, that uh, he follows the proceedings by remote means uh, from the holding cell, and he has expressly waived his right to be present directly in this courtroom. The chamber grants uh, that request by Mr. Nguyen Chia through his defense counsel, so he may follow the proceeding from the holding cell downstairs where the audiovisual equipment is linked for him to follow the proceeding for the remainder of uh, the proceeding today. The chamber require that uh, the defense uh, team for Nguyen Chia uh, submit uh, to the chamber the waiver of Mr. Nguyen Chia uh, together with his thumbprint or signature. And AV assistant, please ensure that the uh, audio-visual equipment is linked uh, to the holding cell downstairs so that uh, the accused Nguyen Jia can follow the proceeding for the remainder of today's proceedings. And security uh, guards are instructed to uh, bring Mr. Nguyen Jia and Mr. Kyu Sampon to the holding cell downstairs. And Mr. Nguyen Jia is to remain in the holding cell for uh, the remainder of the proceedings today. And Mr. Mr. Kyu Sampon shall uh, be brought uh, to this courtroom before 1.30 this afternoon. The court is now adjourned.